This is Greg Tingle reporting for Media Man. We're here uh, for the press conference for Sexpo, the highly anticipated event, and we've got a pleasure to be speaking with the CEO of the Eros Association, Fiona Patton. Welcome. Thanks, Greg. Um, congratulations on the of the, the tremendous exposure and the huge crowd here this evening. Yeah, look, I, it's, it's fantastic, and I, you know, I certainly think you know adding a bit of alcohol to the launch yep. has been a great decision. Uh, but it's looking like Sydney for the first time it's going to be a sellout show. So you know, Sydney Sex has reached that level of maturity. That's right, and I guess every year, as I mean, certainly this year, the the exposure and what it means to people's lives. I mean, at the moment, you know, obviously there's always the political things going on and whether it's marriage or, or TV ratings, what's acceptable, what's not, so your souls are in the thick of it. What, what's your view, if you don't mind sharing, or at least the official viewpoint of Eros Association at the moment with some of those political things going on? What's, what's the point? Well, look, I guess, you know, we're, we're in the 21st century now, so obviously Australian legislation is still really behind the eight ball and really even so last century in regards to censorship uh, and I think you know shows like Sex Pro really show that Australia's community Australian standards around sex and sexuality are really relaxed yep. and that's in all ages and we see that so you know that's something that we think it, Sex Pro provides a great platform to sh send that message to our politicians yes we're going through some amazing technology changes so yep. things like Dr. Triple X coming up we saw that yes so you know the new the reform Commission's review on classification. Yes. And Australian government's really looking at how they're going to deal with censorship in Australia now that we have so many different platforms. Okay. Interesting times. And in perhaps colloquial terms, if you can disclose, what about some of this political stuff at the moment with Liberal, Labor, those billboards, uh, the campaigning? I mean, uh, is there any particular um, parties which seem a little bit on the ball more than others, or have they, uh, do they all need quite a lot of guidance? What's the situation? Well, well, Greg, I, you know, I, I, it's kind of like a Dorothy Dixon because, of course, I would say the Australian Sex Party yeah. is the only party gotcha, yes. that anyone should support. Yep. I think we are seeing the end of kind of that two-party system yep. because they're on the nose. Well, look at the Greens with what happened last election. With they they dictated um, where the power was going in the parliament, in the Senate. And it'll be interesting yep. to see how we go with um, yep. with with things like Bob Catter's party. Yes. Even though he's been doing some really horrendous um, <laughs> advertising in the Queensland election, but you know, it's interesting time in politics yep. I, I think we are at the crux of, of some big changes and yep. you know, the society is really disengaged with that mainstream politics and they're looking for alternatives All right. Well, there's so much going on, we can't possibly cover it in a few minutes, but thank you and we'll look forward to your official address later on this, uh, this evening. Thanks Greg. Okay, thanks Fiona. Thank you.